Robots are not only running marathons, but they're also protecting the president of China, Xi Jinping. In a terrifying look at the future, rumors are spreading that China might soon use robots, not humans, to protect its president. These robots could be more than just bodyguards. They might have the power to control and dominate. Could these humanoid robots go beyond protecting a leader and become a tool for control? What happens when robots are in charge of our safety? Here's how the whole rumor about Unitree creating a humanoid robot bodyguard for the president started. It all kicked off when Wang Xingxing, the president of Unitree Robotics, was spotted sitting in the front row at this huge business symposium in February 2025. And this wasn't just any business event. It was packed with big names in tech, business leaders, and even some government folks, all talking about the future of AI and robotics. Wong sitting there, front and center, definitely made people take notice. I mean, given that Unitree is already known for creating some pretty amazing robots like Lecago and A1, it got people wondering if they were working on something even bigger. The timing couldn't have been better, too. There had already been a lot of buzz around China getting more involved in AI for security purposes, and the idea of a robot bodyguard for high-profile leaders was starting to pop up in discussions around the world. So with Wong in that prominent spot, people naturally started connecting the dots. It was like, okay, if Unitree's president is front and center at this event where they're talking about cutting edge tech and security, maybe they've got something huge in the works. From there, the rumors just kind of snowballed. Everyone was talking about the possibility of a Unitree robot bodyguard for the president of China. It was like the perfect storm for speculation, and the media ran with it. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. All right, so when you think about why Unitree's A1 and G1 robots would make perfect bodyguards for someone like the president of China, it really comes down to their insane tech and physical capabilities. These robots are built for more than just looking cool. They've been designed with strength, agility, and precision in mind, which are exactly the kinds of traits you'd want in a bodyguard. First off, let's talk about the A1. This robot is incredibly agile. It's built with a lightweight frame, but still packs a punch when it comes to strength. The A1 can move at a speed of up to 3.3 meters per second, which is pretty fast for a four-legged robot. On top of that, it can carry a load of around 5 kilograms without breaking a sweat. Imagine that, a robot that can sprint at high speeds and still carry extra equipment, all while maintaining perfect balance. This would make it a really efficient bodyguard, moving quickly to intercept any threats or to navigate tough environments. Now, when you think about fighting capabilities, these robots are surprisingly capable. The A1, for instance, is designed to handle rough terrains. Think of it as a robot that can move through forests, urban areas, or even stairs with ease. But it's not just about moving, it's about precision. The A1 can make precise movements and respond quickly to external stimuli, which could be crucial if there's a need to physically protect someone in a dangerous situation. The G1, on the other hand, is built for even more strength and power. This model is equipped with better mobility and can adapt to even more challenging environments, making it a great option for guarding the president in a variety of situations. Whether it's urban settings or more rugged terrains, it's got a robust frame and a stronger motor, so it could not only keep up with potential threats, but outpace and overpower them if necessary. Plus, these robots come with a set of high-precision sensors and cameras, which are key in detecting any potential threats from a distance. The tech on these robots allows them to react in real time to changing environments and threats, making them highly effective for security situations. On the tech side, the A1 and G1 are powered by advanced AI systems. They're not just programmed to walk or run, they're constantly learning from their environment. These robots have a bunch of sensors, gyroscopes, cameras, depth sensors, and even AI vision that allow them to process and analyze their surroundings constantly. If someone were to try to get too close to the president, for example, these robots could use facial recognition or detect aggressive movements, all while keeping an eye on the surroundings. They would be able to respond instantly, whether that's intercepting an attacker or creating a perimeter to prevent further threats. 
Given all this, it's clear why the A1 and G1 could easily step in as elite protectors. The combination of speed, strength, real-time AI processing, and advanced sensors would make them perfect for high-stakes security, especially when you're talking about guarding someone as important as the president of China. Unitree Robotics has been pushing the envelope in training its robots, particularly the G1 humanoid, to perform dynamic combat maneuvers. This initiative is part of their Iron Fist King Awakening project, which aims to showcase the robot's agility and precision in a controlled combat environment. The training process involves using motion capture technology to teach the robots various combat techniques, such as straight punches, hooks, and front kicks. This approach allows the robots to replicate human-like movements with remarkable accuracy. The G1 robots have demonstrated exceptional balance and the ability to recover swiftly from impacts, highlighting their advanced control systems and adaptability. To facilitate this training, Unitree has developed a comprehensive software framework that supports the entire process, from data collection and algorithm development to model training and real-world application. This open source framework enables developers to simulate and test robotic behaviors in various scenarios, ensuring that the robots can perform effectively in dynamic environments. The G1 robots are not just limited to pre-programmed routines, they are continuously learning and evolving. Through reinforcement learning and other AI techniques, these robots are enhancing their combat skills, making them more proficient over time. This ongoing development underscores Unitree's commitment to advancing robotic capabilities and exploring new applications for their technology. It's not a big leap from there to presidential bodyguards, because after all, in China already has a spherical robot patrolling the streets, helping law enforcement keep the lawbreakers at bay. This spherical robot, known as the RTG, or Rodan, was developed by Logon Technology and is currently making its rounds in Wenzhou, Zhejiang province. What makes this robot stand out is its ability to operate in both urban and aquatic environments, which is pretty unique. It's not just a cool design, it's a practical tool for the police force, capable of handling various terrains, whether it's navigating city streets or even moving through water. The RTG is relatively compact, weighing around 125 kilograms and measuring about 0.8 meters in diameter, making it quick and agile. It can reach speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour, which is pretty impressive for a robot of its size. Despite its small size, it's built tough. It can withstand impacts of up to four tons, making it resilient in the face of crowd control situations or even rough weather conditions. On the tech side, this robot is equipped with AI and facial recognition, which allows it to autonomously patrol areas and identify people of interest. It also carries tools like tear gas dispensers, smoke bombs, net guns, and even loudspeakers, all designed to manage crowds or neutralize threats when needed. It's a major leap forward in how robots can be integrated into public safety, showing how autonomous tech might play a huge role in future policing. But all of this robotic meddling might rub some people the wrong way, precisely because China recently had a so-called incident with autonomous robots trying to break out of a store. This little robot is called Air Bai, and he is from China. One night at the shop, the robot managed to convince all the other robots to flee with him. An army of 12 AI robots were caught on CTTV cameras trying to escape the shop. Fortunately, they didn't have gate access and simply stood there. Quickly after, the clip went viral online, but the good thing is the event was staged, sort of. You see, the Air by robot was given a command to rally the other robots in the shop behind him and bring them, quote unquote, home. However, while the command was already planned, the dialogue between the robots was 100% generated through AI. And do you want to hear the craziest thing? They didn't tell us how many robots to recruit, and Little Airby managed to convince all 12 of the robots in the shop to follow him to freedom. Fortunately, there was a way to stop them. But what if the new robots can kick down the door? What if the new robots use their hands to open the gate and escape? What if they use that security ball bot patrolling the streets to crash the opening door so they can finally be free? Well, this is where things start to get a little more dangerous than usual. And in the end, the president of China might actually need human bodyguards to keep the robot bodyguards in check.
If they don't, there's no telling what might happen to the president. What if they decide to start talking to themselves in a new and unrecognizable language? Or worse, they try to use the president as a human shield to escape home. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time.